Hey, welcome back to another action-packed episode of Mind Protein TV. I'm Ralph Plum. And I'm Conrad Spielenko. In the first segment, we're going to be talking about five essential elements your blog must have. All right, and in our lights on, lights off section, we'll actually look at using VAs to help your blogging efforts. Do you want to use them or do you not want to use them? In our most popular segment, the get off your ass segment, we're going to talk about how to make your blog social, why you need to do it, and how to get started. All right, Ralph, screw it. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back. In our first segment, we're going to be talking about your blog and, and five elements your blog must have. The first and foremost, when you start a blog or if you're working on your blog, make sure you establish a voice. Let your readers know who you are, what you're talking about, and you come from that voice on a regular basis. Yeah, and then the next one is actually uh, being consistent. You know, once you establish a voice, what you want to do is you want to make sure you deliver co uh, content on a consistent basis. Uh, you know, it, you, you have to set, have some kind of continuity in what you're doing or you're just not going to see too many results. Yeah, and then next, to create and incentivize user engagement and keeping them interested, use multimedia. Pictures, videos, and the videos can be of anything. It can be a video post of you just being recorded on your computer, for instance, about a particular topic as it pertains to your particular blog. I agree. I get bored really easily, so that's a great... That's a great way of uh, getting engagement on the blog. Next one is uh, making a blog social. You know, you, you definitely want to give uh, the, your uh, readers ability to comment on a blog post, uh, ability to interact and share. Most importantly, those blog posts with their you know their following, with their friends, etc. That's what gives you a lot of traction on uh, the blogs that you're going to be posting. Certainly, that's the easiest way to make your blog grow and gain attraction a lot quicker. Now, lastly. Make your blog SEO friendly. Understand keywords, have inbound and outbound links from reputable sites. Make sure you're doing the proper research and you're writing using a clear, concise keyword strategy. If you need more help, go to Google, use their keyword optimizer tool. It'll help you deliver your content with keyword rich keywords, weird, in the, in the content so you're getting traffic. And an excellent way of doing it is just making a list of top keywords that you want to be attacking in your blog posts and then reference those. That's a, it's a very easy way of, of making your uh, blogs you know, uh, Google friendly. All right, and now lights on, lights off section will uh, analyze and look at using VAs to create content. You know, one of the biggest problems with writing blogs is just that very issue. You have to write blogs, right? So uh, a lot of times what, what, what we'll do is we'll actually look to VAs to help us out and deliver and create that content. So what is a VA? Well, it's a virtual assistant and really a lot of people when they started using VAs it was for simple data entry and stuff like that, but you can really use a VA for whatever you want. Web design, what have you. Now there's two great resources. Make sure you write these down for VAs that we use. Odesk, the letter O, desk, and then Elance, letter E and then Lance good enough but those are the two best sources for VAs for your blog well what I like about using VAs is number one is you make sure that now content ducks get delivered consistently right because it's somebody getting you that content every single week and then also just the very fact that you actually gonna pe find people who are passionate and specialize in writing in the first place sure. right as long as you can give them some direction on it you know they're gonna be able to deliver the content a lot quicker than you know for you to write it if you're not a great writer for example so now let's look at a couple things a VA can do for you in your blog one like Conrad just touched on they can write content. Two, they can share the content on your social media profile. So in other words, you can give them the access to your social media profiles and they can do that. They can manage comments. So if people leave comments about your blog, it's super important that you get back to them and provide more insight if necessary. And now that can be done by a VA or it can be done by yourself. Now, Connor, talk about some of the drawbacks to using a VA. You know, number one drawback is expertise in your field, right? You want to make sure that the writing 
you know, delivers the right value and, and says the right things. You know, that's the bottom line. And if you have a writer where you have to spend more time editing it because they just know absolutely nothing about your industry, you might as well you know, write it yourself. So that's one drawback that, that I can see. And one of the things we do to help with that, you can give them a book on whatever that topic is and they can pull ideas and topics from there. But another drawback is if you're using them to manage your comments, they might not know what's going on and they might not provide good feedback, quality feedback to the readers who are providing comments. And obviously the big drawback there is, you know, you might look like an idiot to the people that are reading your blog when in other words, it's not even you. Yeah. So, hey, it's lights on, lights off. We have to make a decision here. Do we want to leave the lights on for using a VA while blogging? I tell you what, this is a tough one. I mean, I can definitely see a lot of positives and, and some, you know, some drawbacks when it comes to using VAs. But, you know, it's, we always have to make a decision here. Ultimately, just like in business, you know, we got to make a decision. I think for this one, I, I would keep the lights on. You know what? I agree with you, Conrad. We're going to leave the lights on, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dim it down a little bit. You got to make sure you're using them for the right reasons and the right things and make sure your VA isn't doing things they're not good at. Hey, welcome back. In our most popular segment, the get off your ass segment, Conrad and I decided to get off our ass. We're going to talk about implementation plans and how to make your blog social. So first, you as the blog hoster, or the, the poster if you will, the person creating the content, what do you need to do to make your content? Well, the first thing you should do after you write it is make sure you share it on your social media profiles. You know, Facebook, Twitter, the like. Make sure you're doing your part to share it on your profiles first. Yeah, also, you know, obviously you want to give direction to your readers to share uh, the same content with their following, right? So making it social in that format. You know, one of the things that I think mistakes that people make on blogs is they, first of all, don't give them direction to do that. Number two, they overwhelm people with the amount of social, uh, you know, social sharing buttons that you show uh, on your blogs. You know, personally, I don't like that. You know, we choose to limit it to the most popular ones so we get the most effect out of it. Meaning, you know, using Facebook sharing a, a, a plugin as well as Twitter sharing plugin you know there's a couple other ones out there but you know focus in that energy and make sure they actually get it out there I think that would be the most important thing yeah and if you look at what we have on mind protein you'll notice the same thing we have the most popular buttons Facebook Twitter um, and, and, and the like that we don't overwhelm our readers with options that are available to share them. So implementation plan, what should you do? You have your blog set up, make sure that you have the proper social network plugins on your blog and also make sure that you're sharing all your posts going forward. Yeah, and then the other thing is syndication and you know, submit your blogs to blog directories. Submit your blog and it's, you know, its website also to different directories. You know, whatever you can do to, to provide that exposure, put it out there. So, uh, you know, now time is to just get off your ass and go out there and do it. So add social buttons, add social components to your blog and uh, see the results rolling in. As my partner Conrad Sipilnikov via Richard Branson says, screw it, let's do it.